lightning strikes most frequently in July and August. Damage from these jolts can be severe, and the modern-day victims include electrical devices, computers, and other IT equipment. This plant's office building was recently hit. The lightning strike shut down the local area network, wreaking havoc with daily operations. A LAN cable was connected here with the router. Lightning came in from here and burnt this part and the next section. We estimate the damage at about $10,000. The Institute of Electrical Engineers of Japan says the amount of damage caused by lightning tops $1 billion a year in Japan. This is the usual protection against lightning. The electricity travels down a rod on a steel framework to the ground. The electricity immediately creates a strong electromagnetic force, or EMF, around the steel framework. EMF instantaneously causes high voltage to pass through nearby wires, damaging electronic devices. Construction firm Taisei Corporation and lightning rod maker Sankosha jointly developed a simulation system to help minimize damage to communications devices from lightning strikes. When data for the building is put in, the system shows what EMF will be generated. The arrow indicates the point where lightning strikes. Areas with strong electromagnetic force are shown in red, and those with weak force in blue. When lightning strikes, the outside of this building is quickly engulfed in EMF. The interior seems to suffer little impact, but electromagnetic fields form over time. It's the first system to visualize electromagnetic waves occurring in a building. It can measure the waves produced. That's the feature. To develop the system, artificial lightning was made to strike an iron frame model. This test was conducted 740 times. The strength of the EMF generated was closely measured and the data analyzed. It took two years to complete the system. With our simulation, the right steps can be taken when and where necessary, rather than randomly. This lightning simulation system has already been used for some office buildings. This headquarters of a Tokyo-based freezer maker was completed last year. The company put priority on preventing damage to its server computer, which is the linchpin of communications, linking its three plants in Japan and 32 offices abroad. At first, the company planned to put the server computer room along the exterior wall on the third floor. But simulations revealed that if they were struck by lightning, the server computer would be engulfed in a strong EMF. The company decided to move the server to a place less likely to be affected. Our building is protected from lightning damage much more than most buildings. It gives us a sense of security. Not many businesses, though, have followed their example in protecting their IT equipment. As communications devices become increasingly important, lightning prevention technology is likely to draw more attention.